welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Uh, just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to force it into your world. And thank you, collective, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so much. Seriously, all the kindness and the positive vibes, right? Um, thank you so much for sending me the love, guys. All right, so Divine, what can you show me for the collective today? What is going on with the collective? What is going on? Ooh, wow, holy cow. Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I, I feel like there's a masculine energy here who's really angry and upset with themselves, okay? Because they're watching you leave the scene. That's why. Just disgusted. Disgusted with themselves for the choices they make, um, that they made with you, the things that they did to you, how they treated you. Um, they're, they're kind of feeling sick over this. This is someone disgusted with themselves. Um, you know, it says hateful, vengeful, spiteful. Um, I feel like this is, they shattered their own heart here with their own choices, okay? And they're really sad over it because if you look at this card, it says encouraged. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Cover it up. It takes on a whole new meaning. You're leaving the scene very quickly with great speed, you took your training wheels off. You're no longer waiting around for this person to catch up. You're like Audi, okay? You're leaving, um, pulling your energy away from this person and moving forward on your own and leaving them behind, just waving their arms, saying, wait, please don't go. Yeah, they're sad over this. They're sad, feeling a bit hopeless because they don't know which way to take to get you back they don't know how to get you back this is their mind a big jumbled mess right now uh not having a whole lot of direction i feel like this person hung out with um somebody else a baby mama friend slash lover um possibly someone they had a child with and and i feel like this was their safe zone this easy chair here Okay, but now there's a major shakeup. See that lightning bolt? That's a tower moment. This person's having a shakeup because they know they can, they're realizing here that you're leaving and they may never have another chance at you ever again. Um, they know all of this because they're watching you like a hawk. Okay, whatever whatever it is you're doing, um, you're very fascinating to this person. I feel like you're really high vibing, um, maybe enthusiastic, possibly intuitive, right? Very intuitive here with all of the glow. And this person, they may be hanging out with whoever this is that they don't see as a romantic love. They see as like a friendship love, but maybe someone they had a baby with. Like they don't have any romantic feelings for this person anymore. But yet, at the same time, they're devoted. Okay? And you're getting away. The one that they truly love is getting away. All because of the lazy boy chair. Right? The one that they sat in and in their comfort zone. Because they didn't want to confront all of this. And now time's run up for this person. And you're leaving. And all they can do is watch you leave. You know, um, they know they broke your wing, but you're, you're not broken anymore. Look, you look pretty strong to me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this person was thinking. Uh, they, uh, that's kind of what they're saying here. I don't know what I was thinking. They're disgusted with themselves for breaking their own heart here. They, they chose a friend slash baby mama that they have no romantic feelings for now right? And a lazy boy chair. That's what they chose over you, okay? And now they don't know how to, how to get you back. The situation feels hopeless for this person. 
it feels hopeless because they I feel like now they feel kind of stuck okay yeah all right so what do I want to use let's look at the baby duck here all right what can you show us divine for the collective what messages what's going on here yeah they have they're with someone else in a in like you know this is a kind of every day is the same right they get up they sit in the lazy boy read the paper you know this karmic whoever this is takes care of the baby they may mow the lawn or go to work then they come home they sit in the lazy chair again and this karmic individual may make them dinner or something like that and they sit there and then they go to bed and they get up and do the same thing all of it that's their life and it's become a safe zone for your person but not anymore not anymore they're playing they're just playing house with somebody they don't have any romantic feelings for and they're losing the one that they are in love with this it's just it's it's redonkulous at this point it's not even ridiculous anymore it's redonkulous <laughs> all right what else can you show me divine thank you wanting to say goodbye to third you make them the things that they watch from you it's their only happy time it's almost like even if they do have other options around them in their life right now, they're kind of not even paying attention to anybody else but you leaving. And whatever it is that you're posting online, however it is that this person is watching you, that's really their focus right now. Um, so I feel like any other women that are trying to reel this person in, it's really not working. They only want to watch you. The, you're the only one who fascinates them, okay, and makes them this upset, okay? That's really what, you fascinate them and you make them this upset with themselves at the same time, and all you're doing is leaving? This person knows they're in love with you. They really don't want anyone else, and they definitely don't have romantic love for the person that they've been with. All right, what else can you show me here for the person watching? All right, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a, any water sign here. Um, or um, Libra and Gemini. I feel like this person is going to do all that they can to free themselves from this situation here. They need to be free before they can, you know, before anything that they do is going to work. They need to free themselves from this first, from the ever so comfy easy chair and their platonic little friend. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's, you know, it's redonkulous. It is. All right, what can you show me for the person watching? <laughs> Yeah. They know that you don't trust them anymore. I, I feel like this person, you know, they're keeping everything that they feel inside, okay? All this disgust, all the hate, all the love they have for you. They're keep all the confusion. They're keeping it all inside. Um, this is somebody who could be drinking a lot, right? Maybe even um, hard alcohol here. Um, but yeah, they're clawing and screaming to get out inside. This person's living a nightmare, like for real inside. This person's living a nightmare, even though they're sitting in an easy chair. And they, they know that trust is an issue here. Ooh, that's too many. Feel like they want to reach out yeah they're with a karmic individual i feel like this person got engaged or committed to a karmic this is a karmic commitment it's it's nothing else it's karmic okay um and then there was you 
look, here's you, here's who they got with. And that's why this person is so disgusted. Here you are, all the effort you put in to transform your life. You've got this gentle, peaceful um, kind of aura about you, you know. Um, just moving forward in your life, right? About to enter into something extremely abundant. And as you move forward, this is like I feel divine feminine energy too. You take these flowers here and you kind of drop them behind you. Like you're leaving things behind that need to stay behind in the last cycle. And you're putting your hand up like, I want no more of this, okay? I'm moving forward, right? With confidence. You're gorgeous here. Now look at this person that they got with. This is just someone toxic maybe overdone like I feel like this person is very flashy possibly very spoiled like your person isn't even wearing a shirt but this this person here has at least a good 80 pounds of clothing on her okay so yeah I feel like there's a materialistic karmic here that your person got engaged or married to and then there's you I feel like you weren't materialistic, but yet at the same time, you're moving into a period of your, of your life that's going to be like mind boggling as far as how abundant it's going to be. Okay, seriously, it will boggle your mind. Um, but yeah, this person, they're energetically trying to call out to you. You may feel that because they're not talking. But yet, you, I mean, with all the energy this person is keeping on the inside, uh, they're screaming out for you right now. Bug-eyed panicked, right? Because you're getting away. It's their central focus. Is you getting away? You know? So what is this person going to do? What action are they going to take? Mm, I feel like this is like wish fulfillment here. I feel like that, you know, they're trying to manifest you, but it's not getting them anywhere and they're confused. They don't know how to get you back. I feel like they're, they're trying to manifest you back into their world, but it's not working. And I, I feel like, um, also, spirit is kind of um, intervening here, I feel, for some of them. For some of them, their wand isn't working. Okay? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they're not doing the right thing and approaching you with um, trying to make this better. You know? Trying to do right after the way they treated you. So the divine, I feel, is like sprinkling their little pixie dust on something here, and it's making it not work. Yeah, messages. This person needs to message you, and they're just like, how do I do this? Right? Yeah. They want to they wanna reach out to you, I feel. They know they have to reach out to you, but they're scared. They don't know what you what to expect from you. They don't know what kind of reaction you're going to have. And they're still with this karmic individual that they don't have any romantic love for. So this person really doesn't have much of a defense. They're just disgusted and angry with themselves. Yeah, feeling stuck. Feeling stuck, unable to speak. Maybe even watched very closely by this karmic. They're like, what did I get myself into? That's really what it feels like here. What have I gotten myself into? They're seeing everything clearly now. They're seeing everything clearly now. How stuck they actually are. How dis they're disgusted. They're upset with themselves. Oh. And that meanwhile, they're letting you slip away. What action? I feel like this person's going to talk. They're going to talk to you. They can't take it anymore. Too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. Yeah, they may be afraid to confront either you or this karmic, both probably. 
What else can you show me here for the collective? Yeah, they're afraid. Being with you would be a dream. Yeah, they want another chance. Look at that. Oh, with their Earth Angel star. Yes, the one who is so good at manifesting. I'll leave that one out. What's this one? Yeah, they've been watching you like a hawk. I feel like you could be in the public eye here. Um, you could be in the public eye. This is the world card. We've got all the eyes around you, okay? So, yeah, there's a lot of people watching you. you they're all fascinated by you because you're able to manifest your dreams in. You're able to pull things towards you. You're getting a lot of opportunities. You, you, it's like you can manifest whatever you want. You've got like a magic touch here. You want a drum set? You can have that red drum set. So many interruptions. Jeez. Um, yeah, so you can have what uh, you're basically manifesting your wishes and dreams here. And your person really wants a chance, so they're coming. I feel like this person's coming in. I feel like they don't want to walk away from this dream with you, okay? But they need to conquer that fear of confronting. And there's still this issue here with the karmic that they need to do something about. But yeah, this is a person who wants to come forward here for it. They want another chance with you, collective. We've been saying it. I'm telling you. This person's coming, so get ready. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for this little quick reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. I love my, my um, subscribers, my moonies, right? I love you guys. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.